So my mutual made a stitch of this man whose page I am going to show you because this man has been going on a rant, a rant using the Bible as justification for why he is a P-E-D-O. And for my purposes, I'm going to call him a Frido. So she says consent for SEX is still 18, but you can get married under 18 with the parent's permission. It ba basically legalizes statutory rape. I want y'all to understand how people use the Bible to justify their, their proclivities to be a free though. They will take any kind of passage and they will make it make sense for what they want to you do and justify. In this case, this young man whose page reaches over 950,000 people is, he is going, he's justifying using the Bible for why he is dating females and he used the word females a lot as long as they have reached maturity, physical maturity as noted in the Bible. That is what he's using and I'm sure that people are going to justify this talking about the Bible says, the Bible says, well, we're not in the Bible ages when people live to like 27 or whatever. We are a, a whole different culture. And I hope that you guys go to his page, look at what he looks like and recognize why you have to vet, vet, vet even the people in the church because they are using well at least this guy is using the bible to cover up his proclivity to be a freedom what's up christ gang i'm making this video to clear up false allegations on my name a lot of people on the internet are accusing me of being a p3do um i just want to make this very very clear I am not a P3DO. So it all started when I joined Parker's Live um, and I was asked the question. I wanna know if you're saying that it's okay for you to sleep with a minor, someone who's nine, eight, seven, just because they hit puberty. I need to know that. I wanna go to an objective standard, right? And the objective standard is, what does God's word say about this? Before we get started with that, um, I just want to make it make it clear. Um, I prefer what the Bible prefers, right? So I, I don't just have my own opinions for these issues. I look at what the Bible says, right? And so essentially for preferring what God's word says, I'm called a P3DO. So the Bible does not specify a specific age for marriage. The Bible gives two specific things that would imply that a female is ready to engage in sexual intercourse within marriage. Now, those two things are if the female is physically mature and if she is emotionally mature. Physically mature, what it's saying is the female has to have menstruated, okay? Within Jewish culture, the menstruation of a female signifies her physical maturity. Different females, right, hit this at different ages emotional maturity now what is emotional maturity is a female mentally ready or mentally capable of making that decision to engage in sexual intercourse now different females obviously mature at different rates what's really 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 important about this thing right is that you cannot put a specific age on it that's why the bible does not mention a specific age for marriage right different females are emotionally mature at different ages and different females are physically mature at different ages within ancient israel context we understand that females matured at a much younger age right the reason being is because there was much more responsibility on these females within society within that culture right nowadays females mature way later in life my beliefs are consistent with scripture and i stand by scripture and scripture alone i just wanted to make this video to clear up my name thank you so much for watching and you have a blessed day now because you people didn't understand what he said he needed to make a part two to re- iterate and then flesh out some of the things because y'all didn't understand his part one and how he used the bible to talk about things what's up christ gang um i thought i made myself clear 
Um, but it seems like there's some people on the internet that are still not grasping what I'm saying. You cannot put a specific age on it. That's why the Bible does not mention a specific age. Just like some Christian cult leader, this dude wants to utilize the Bible to justify why it's okay to sleep with and marry underage girls. Okay, clearly this guy just has a lack of comprehension skills. I made myself very clear. I don't believe anyone should be sleeping with underage girls. I said a female must be emotionally mature and physically mature to engage in this thing. Use your head, bro. To an objective standard, right? And the objective standard is, what does God's word say about this? That's a pretty odd way of saying no. No, in no context, in any context, is it okay to have physical relations with a nine, eight, and seven-year-old regardless? don't believe at any given point in time that a nine-year-old should be engaging in intercourse i don't believe that plus aren't you an atheist you don't have objective morality of all the abrahamic god was very clear about the appropriate age for a female to be wed 2000 years ago you had to be at least 13 years old and start a menstruation wrong 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 give me any source for the information you're saying right now the Bible does not make this thing clear. There's no age mentioned in the Bible. I, I, have you even read the Bible? <sighs> okay, yeah, I've had enough of this. Um, <laughs> this is like my last video speaking about this issue. Um, let me just restate my point to make it very, very clear for anyone who still hasn't understood my position. No female who's not mature should be sleeping with an adult. I don't see how you can't understand what I'm saying here. Hopefully I made myself really clear. Um, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching. Now that y'all watch that BS, please just watch what my mutual on TikTok says because her answer, her response, is basically what I would say as well. A female must be emotionally mature and physically mature. By that logic, by your logic, you can be an emotionally mature 13 year old. Okay, your rule is girl has to be emotionally and physically mature. You will find in the course of your life that the law thinks otherwise. The law says if you are an adult male and you engage in sexual relations with someone who is under 18 you are a criminal so yeah try that biblical defense in court and see how far it gets you